Such a beautiful night to make a change. I'd like to welcome all family and friends to Nats and Kev's wedding. Welcome everyone. Talking about love and life. Oh, how lucky am I when I look in your eyes. What a wonderful way to spend a moment or two. To be lying awake and be talking to you. I got something to say, you know what I got There's been such a mad build up to today from engagement to wedding in, in nine months. We haven't really had the chance. To, to take it all in, but now it's here, we honestly couldn't be happier. We really hope that you've all enjoyed the day so far. Looking forward to what's coming later. Nats was born on a sunny Friday morning on the 28th of April 1989. I know that will be a shock to Kev's family because she's just told him she's 27. <laughs> she's actually 33 years old. One word, one love, one life. I remember when Kev first met you. Um, my phone didn't stop ringing, and every time I answered, there was a, a kind of love struck schoolboy on the end of it. Um, and I've never seen Kev like this and I know a lot of weddings people will say this, it's a throwaway comment, it's a bit cliche but I genuinely have never seen Kev the way he was after he met you. Dad, <laughs> aka Dora the Explorer. <laughs> First of all, I'd just like to congratulate you for um, raising such an amazing, perfect son. <laughs> I don't have to look far, I've ever wondered where I get my resilience and determination from. Your love is like a soldier, loyal till you die. And I've been looking at the stars for a long time. Wendy and Dave. Thank you for raising such a beautiful daughter. It was clear from meeting you and your family that you've raised Nat with such great values, humour and kindness. Despite the distance between us and the football differences, I've always felt welcome and part of your family. Wendy and Dave, thank you. We are truly grateful for your love, support and contribution to help make today special. Love like us, you like the spark in my bonfire heart. Having spent a lot of time with both of you over the years, it's clear to see just how much you're meant for each other. And I'm sure everyone in this room kind of shares our excitement to watch your life journey continue from here. This world is getting colder, strangers passing by. Mm -hmm. No one offers you a shoulder, no one looks you in the eye. We're also so proud and happy that you found someone to spend the rest of your life with in Kev. Stop, Kev, because <laughs> I'm going to slaughter you now, so stop. This week's time with you and Kev has been a real pleasure and we've really seen that you're made for each other. I don't think you have put the chewing gum in the bin yet, but you're made for each other. <laughs> Please raise your glasses for my new wife, Nat. Kev, I'm sure you're proud. You're going to leave today with a beautiful, uh, clever um, uh, best friend to live the, out the rest of your life with. But it's the only thing that I know. My mum Charlotte, who's missed more than words can do her justice, 
She would have loved today, like she did my sister's weddings. Her family was her number one priority in life. She would have been beaming ear to ear today on a day like this with everyone here. My mum was a unique woman. She was a mum of few words in terms of letting you know that she was proud of you. That even made me feel better about this bit. <laughs> she was proud of something, but she let you know in her own little way. I'm confident that she's delighted that you are the new Mrs. McShane. <laughs> Sorry, um, she would really adored you. Me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans, holding me closer till our eyes meet. You won't ever be alone. Me and Mum, Nets, are so proud of you. I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> We're so proud of the beautiful young woman that you've become. Although it sounds strange, they're living so far, far apart, I think we are now closer than ever. I have to take a moment to say how beautiful Natalie looks today. Um, please clap. Nat, you are beautiful on the inside and out and you look amazing and I can see why you thought as soon as you saw that dress you thought it was the perfect one. I will never forget that moment when you walked down the aisle today. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher. So you have learned much from one another in these last few years. Now you should say a few words that take you across a threshold of life, and things will never quite be the same between you. But after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Well, I found a woman Stronger than anyone I know She shares my dreams, I hope that someday When the one whom you believe in puts their faith and trust in you you found the one and only love you'll share your whole life through my secrets To carry love, to carry children of our own of a token of my love and our commitment to each other and in the presence of our family and friends I Kevin get you Natalie to be my wedded wife to love and to cherish for the rest of our lives together I give you this ring as a token of my love and our commitment to each other and in the presence of our family and friends I, Natalie, take you, Kevin to be my wedded husband to love and to cherish for the rest of our lives together. Please raise your glasses to the happy couple on their wedding day, to Nats and Kev. taxi yesterday coming from Brentwood to here but while we were there um, Kev took a call you know and he started doing this and we're thinking oh not another one not another one's gone down 
anyway, he got off the call, and so I said, and Nat said, what's happened? What's happened, Kev? And he said, oh, Damien's got a spot on the end of his nose. <laughs> But when Nat first met Kev many years ago, because we live in Australia, you know, I, we, we couldn't really just meet him, could we? So, so I said to Nat, so tell me about Kev, Nat, tell me. So she said, he's a banker and he saw Forks Man United. And I said, well, that's a bit harsh, but what does he do for a profession? <laughs> I mean, it got to a point where if we took Natalie out in the pram, we didn't want anyone to look at her, because if anyone looked at her, she would cry. <laughs> well, if she weren't already crying. So we'd be walking down the shop, shopping mall and someone would be coming, oh, oh no, there's someone coming, there's someone coming. Be, and then she, they're going to look at her, aren't they? They're going to look at her. So it got to a point where, don't look at her, don't look at her. Yeah, I would have a show like Oprah. I would be the host of everyday Christmas. Give Trappy a wish list. I'd probably pull an Angelina and Brad Pitt and adopt a bunch of babies that ain't never had shit. Give away your few mistakes. Kev likes to be in control um, and he's always been very clear about what he can't and can't say in the speech. So I'm a, I am sorry, we've had to leave out a lot of the best bits. Hang on, the Amsterdam trip, 2012, can we not mention? No, okay. No, that's out. The, the pillow on fire in Ibiza? Yeah, that's definitely out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what about the naked angel dance? Yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that that one's out, mate. I'm not going to lie, growing up, Kev, Kev was quite a good looking chap. And later in his teens, um, I'd, I'd often um, hear the remarks as we walked past, doesn't he look like David Beckham? Um, and Kev would pretend to hate it. And he'd, so he'd, <laughs> he'd nudge me in a club and he'd say, oh, that girl's looking at me. Like, okay, what, what's wrong with that? She's going to say I look like David Beckham. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be in a whole new tax bracket We in recession, but let me take a crack at it I'll probably take whatever's left and just split it up So everybody that I love can have a couple bucks And not a single tummy around me Would know what hungry was eating good We've always had the type of friendship It doesn't matter where, what we're doing or where we are in the world We'll drop anything to be there for each other Or just be on the end of a phone um, And I'm really pleased and happy to say this, but I don't think Kev will ever need that in the same way anymore since he's met you. And there's a calmness about him since he's met you that I think I've never seen. Forbes magazine, smiling next to Oprah and the Queen. What up, Oprah? <laughs> oh, every time I close my eyes. What you see, what you see, bro? I see my name in We'd like to raise our glass to the wonderful couple and we speak on behalf of the entire room when we say we love you. So, to the bride and groom. The bride and groom.